Okay. So this is uh, your May June 2022 paper two. We will directly go towards uh, main merge is not in the syllabus anymore. You know that. We'll come to task this. Presentation is there in P2. You're going to create a short presentation. All slides must have consistent layout and formatting. You can see my screen, right? You can see my screen, Ayan. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay, right, okay. So, <clears throat> create a presentation of seven slides using the file this. Unless otherwise instructed, the slide must display a title and a bullet list. So, obviously, first of all, what we need to do is, uh, this is why we always have to extract the files, remember? Okay, once you extract it, I'll just copy the path because we need to actually do is, we need to import over here, is the file uh or this adratic so we'll just open up powerpoint here we'll go to file we'll go to uh open okay i'll browse for the location since i already have copied the location i'll paste it here and i'll click on all files that's important please listen carefully okay now over here we need to import is this file open automatically all the slides will appear on their own, okay? So what they're saying is, unless the instructor, the slide must have, have display a title and a bullet list. So they have a title and a bulleted list. Yes or no? Yes. Right there? Okay. Okay. Um, use slide master to display the following features. Automated slide number on the top left. We did quite similar paper, didn't we? Sorry, sir, I didn't hear you properly. Sorry? I didn't hear you properly. What I did said you we say? did quite a similar paper, didn't we? Similar to what? A similar paper. Okay. I think so. Yeah, okay, so what they're saying is, uh, we have to add an automatic slide number. So simply go to view, we go to slide number. Okay, we'll, we'll land up over here. So all we have to do is, we simply have to insert. And, oh no, we don't really have to insert. Actually, we can insert our own text box. But we can also do is, that if we have to insert the slide numbers at the top, we can simply, and it, it should be where top left. So you can simply place it here. Okay. Uh, just like this. What I would do is I'll make it bold and I'll make this font a bit bigger. So, uh, okay. So that it's visible and I'll make it black. So this is what we have. Your name, center number, candidate number. Okay. Okay. Make sure master slide appears uh, in the same position every slide, no overlap. Okay. Your name. And they did not mention where the name should be, so I'll simply do is I'll just place these over here since they haven't mentioned. Okay. So master slide must appear, it will, no overlaps. Format the first slide so the title layout. Okay. For what we can do is we can simply close this. You would see the numbering and the footer doesn't appear, no matter, no problem. Just come insert. When you come into insert, you will see the slide number. So you click on slide number and you can say is the footer should appear and the slide number should appear. Right? Remember, insert slide number. Apply to all. And you can see is what do we have. You're with me, Anne? Yes. Okay. So we're done with this point. We're done with this point. Okay, let's do this one. Format the first slide so that a title slide layout is applied with no bullet points. So we have to, so there should be no bullet points. So right click, layout, should be title slide. Okay? Okay. The title and subtitle text are centered in the middle. It is automatically done. Delete the slide, see corrects. 
I'll simply delete the slide. Use the data in the weather CSV to create a vertical bar chart. This chart must compare only the air temperature high and the air temperature low value for only the months of May, June, July, August, September. Display with labels the months and the category axis. So we have over here is weather. <clears throat> Always arrange it, you know that. So this chart must compare only the air temperature in degrees Celsius. This is the air temperature in degrees Celsius. And air temperature, okay, one is low and one is high. So air temperature low and high, fine. For only the months of May, June, July, and August. So for the month of May, June, July, and August, right? So we need to select these. And September as well? Yeah. One, May, June, July, August, September. May, June, July, August, September. Are you following me? Right? Yes. Sir. And uh, create a vertical bar chart. So all we have to do is now insert. You will come over here is a vertical bar chart. You get a vertical bar chart. Yes or no? Now, instead of yeah. one, two, three, I need is May, June, July, and August. So you right click. That's important part. Select data. Click on this, edit, and select May, June, July, August. And here you go. You get my point. Right? Yeah. What else? And display the labels. The labels are there. And what are the labels supposed to have? Okay, label the following chart. Okay. Uh, they obviously have asked. Value axis, title, degree Celsius. So click here. Control V. And category axis, months. We call this category, right? So are you with me, I believe? This is supposed to be months, right? Yes. This is the following. Only the data values at the top of each bar. Data values at the top of each bar. Okay, so I have to select, uh, I have data values at the top of each bar. Let's see. So I have to see, do I have one here? I, I must have be having. Just one second. Uh, no, there should be here. Here you go. Okay. You can see data value is top of each bar. Okay. Uh, this is better. Okay. Only the table is top of each bar. Only. Uh, a legend showing air temperature high and air temperature low. So I click over here in series. I will edit this, select data, series one, series one, edit, and I'll paste this, okay. Okay, then we need is air temperature degrees low. So series, edit, and paste. So I get, I go with me, this is what, good you asked me, because we, had, we discussed charts today as well. Yes, Ayan. Any problem? Ayan, you with me? Yes, sir. Okay, format the value access to display a minimum of zero. So actually, value access should be, but actually, uh, they have said over here is only the data values at the only data at the top. So how can I display the minimum values? That's strange. Uh, that's contradictory. Only data values at the top of each. 
Okay, minimum value and maximum value 32. So what I can do is actually I can click here. I can get go to format. Just one second. This is better. This is actually what. So what they're saying is, okay, we, we should like this one, you know why? Because they're saying minimum should be zero. So over here, the minimum is zero, you can see, and maximum value should be 32. So it's, it's maximum should be 32, it's, it's not 30. So I'll simply click on format access and I'll make this 32 and minimum zero. Right, an uh, increment of four, which means over here, major is this should be four, so it should increment with four, right? Uh, this is actually known as your major. If you let me repeat again, so major is four. Place the chart to the left of the bullets on the slide climate. So we'll simply do is. We'll simply copy this and place it where, uh, not this one, climate. Where to place it? Just one second. Uh, to the left of the bullet. So uh, I don't have enough space, so I could probably just do this because there, there's no other way. I mean, if I don't temper this, I will end up, so this is the left. This is what I can do. Get my point. So they have, they have mentioned exactly the position. So this is fine, but it should also be readable. So I'll just increase the size a bit. Are you with me, Ian? Yes, sir. No words on uh, the chart is split. The data will live and the chart and the contact overlap. No, they don't, they don't overlap actually. You can see is the nothing is overlapping right now. Okay. On the slide with the title wind and tides, look at two bullets describing Bora and Sirocco winds. Format only these two bullet points to look like this. Okay. Winds and tides. Hold on. Yeah, here. They are saying is format only these bullets should look like this. So we have to be prevailing. Yeah, so actually what we have to do is boron silico just needs to be indented. If you look over here, I'll just indent this, but this bullet has to be of this type. So what I'll do is I'll simply come here and I don't have it here. So I'll come into bullets. I will come into customize and I would see if I have this this is what they want right yes do you see this and and okay yes or no yeah we'll yes. remember this part i'll do this recording okay right okay save the presentation print the presentation as handouts with two slides to a page well we have discussed this before that i can actually do is i can print when we talk about printing, I can print this in, okay, they're, they're in notes page, but remember we talked about notes pages. I told you notes pages are what? Let me just recap apart from the paper. For example, I can have notes pages over here and I can type over here, like, let's say is equals to brand. And I can just have, well, What? No way. Okay, because my, my sequence is not working. That's weird. Okay, so share is equal. That's plus. Okay, just press enter and I'll just get some random text. I do. Why am I showing you this? I'll tell you why. Because if I go to print now, I can get some notes pages text. Yes or no? So this is what? Full slide, only the slide with notes. 
just this just this summary matlab i mean there will won't be any any images uh one slide two slides to a page this is what they asked this are the audience notes remember we call these the audience notes do you remember that yes yeah yes sir. the audience notes okay so six slides whatever so one print out this two slides outlines the summary no pages and full so i've discussed uh, let me just stop it i've discussed the paper with you